every one of you here tonight. Not very many of us here tonight, but that's all right. And many others will be coming in. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's stand and, and just ask the Lord to have his way tonight in this service. Heavenly Father, as we come before you, Lord, we thank you for the privilege that you give us, Lord, to come into the house of God. And truly, it is a privilege to come to the house of God. We pray, Father, that you would just anoint this service, touch every heart, every life. We pray, God, that you would minister tonight and that you would touch Pastor as he brings forth the word, anointing, Lord, give you the words to say. And Lord, we just thank you for what you're going to do. Amen. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Let's worship the Lord tonight. Sister Dean. Somebody's been set free. Yeah. Amen. Somebody's set me free.
Holy Spirit. Amen.
a simple little song. So just worship with us. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh.
Because he lives. Praise God. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't have to worry about tomorrow because he has it in his hands. He already knows what tomorrow holds. Amen. Hallelujah. If we're walking in hand in hand with him, we don't have to worry about anything. <coughs> but we do because we're human. And we need to trust in the Lord more and more. Hallelujah. At this time, we want to receive our evening tithes and offerings. If you have an offering tonight to, to place in the box up here, do so, and the Lord will bless you. Yeah. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this privilege that you give us. And it is a privilege to give unto you, Lord. We pray, dear God, that you bless both the gift and the giver. In Jesus' name, amen.
Susan Counts, the same force. I was thinking of something I was viewing just today, this, this morning, and this pastor showed what it's going to be like when the rapture takes place. And they kind of had a picture of it, and I, they they kind of uh, did a kind of a motion picture of it. Of uh, people sitting in church, and one just went up, and another went up, and another went up. And people were driving down the road, and all at once they there was no driver, and planes were flying through the sky, and no no pilot, and no chaos. And just total chaos. But, you know, what a day that's going to be when we all get to heaven. Hallelujah. Heaven's jubilee. Huh? Oh, they ran to the altars afterwards. And the churches, I'll tell you right now, the churches, when the rapture takes place, this church will be packed. It will be packed completely. Yes. But we want to reach people as many. I don't want to see nobody go to hell. Amen. Praise the Lord. Can you use that yellow mic there? Yeah. You want to count the Yeah. Okay. And kind of in the seat.
seize every opportunity that you have when you see someone and they either bump into you or you just say, oh, oh sorry, yeah. pardon me, how are you today? There's an opportunity right now to witness to him. And the Lord has been so good because lately that's what I've run into. From time to, I mean, quite often, because there's a need and there's a world that's dying without Christ. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Jesus. Have your way tonight, Lord. Have your way tonight. Have your sweet way tonight, Holy Spirit. Oh, let it flow in this place, oh Lord God. Lord, I'm going to start out right now. Any hindering spirit, I command you to leave this place right now in the name of Jesus. Let the Holy Spirit flow in this place. No evil anywhere in this place. Right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord Jesus, we love you. Glory to God, glory to God. Have your way, Lord. Have your way. Hallelujah. For yea, I am the Lord thy God, and I love the praise of my people. I love the worship of my people, thus saith the Lord. And from thence it was parted 
and became into four heads. The name of the first is Pison, that is, that is it which compasseth the whole land of Havilah, where there is gold. And the gold of that land is good. There is Bedlam and the Ont Stone. And the name of the second river is Gihon. The same is it that compasseth the whole land of Ethiopia. And the name of the third river is Hadikel. That is it which goeth toward the east of Assyria. And the fourth river is Euphrates. And the Lord God took the man and put him into the Garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it. And now I want to go over to John chapter 7, verse 37 to 39. And you may ask how this is come, going to come together, but we'll see here in a minute. And in the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. He that believeth on me, as the Scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. But this spake he of the Spirit, which they that believe on him should receive, for the Holy Ghost was not yet given, because that Jesus was not yet glorified. I want to speak a little while tonight on the subject, let the river flow out. Amen. Let the river flow out. Our text says a river went out of Eden. The Garden of Eden, that wonderful place God prepared for Adam and Eve was a prepared blessing waiting specifically for them. It is from this blessing, the garden, that the river flowed and became four river heads. The first river head, mentioned called Paisan, means overflowing and abundant. Or from within, an abundant river flow. The second river head was called Gihon, which means to burst forth or a breaking out. The third river ahead was called Hike Hell, meaning swift like an arrow. The final river ahead was called Euphrates, which means a great river. The point of this is that this river flowed forth from the place that God had prepared for those with whom He would have an intimate fellowship. Amen. Now there is a real significance to that river and its river heads for us today. God has placed a thirst for the eternal within us. A continual desire for His Spirit. As the body thirsts for water, so our souls thirst for God. Some may become satisfied with their mouths full while resist the flow of God's Spirit. But those who recognize their emptiness and thirst will open their hearts and be filled continually by God's outpouring. From these, from those who are filled with His Spirit, there should be a riverhead flowing. Rivers of living water. John 7, 38, our text. He that believeth on me, as the Scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. However, these rivers to flow, we must release them let them out. You see, we need a, a great flowing of the river of the Holy Spirit coming out of us today. Amen. We're living in a day where people and we're living in a day where people are satisfied with what they have. They're satisfied and they don't realize that they need more. Amen. Praise God. Now, I grew up as a boy in an era that the people knew what they wanted. They wanted a great old outflowing of the Holy Spirit out of their heart. Amen. My goodness, I remember people down at the altar praying and seeking God and saying, Lord, I'm glad you saved my soul, but Lord, fill me with the Holy Ghost and with the power yeah. that I may be able to, to worship you and glorify you from the fullness of my heart. Oh, praise God. 
I just love it. When the Holy Ghost moves so strongly as it has moved uh, uh, several times in our services through the times that we have been here. But I want to see God move even, do even greater things yes, yes. in our life. Yes. We need to let the river flow in first. Revival is for the thirsty. Amen. But the satisfied are content with dryness. If you're thirsty, you want to drink of that river of living water. I remember the little woman at the well. She came there and Jesus said, Would you give me something to drink? And she was saying, uh, well, you, most of you Jews don't like us Samaritans. And he says, but I have something that I will give you that will cause you to never thirst again. Yeah. He was not talking about the physical thirst, but he was talking about the spiritual things. Uh, yeah. Praise God. When we start allowing that, uh, that great Holy Ghost to pour into us, uh, yeah. it will yeah. start flowing out of us like a river. The reason I am preaching this message today is that I am thirsty. For the last day outpouring of God's Spirit. Amen. I believe this is the day of latter rain. Amen. See, they had the former rain, and now we got the latter rain. Amen. Around the turn of the action, there's been many uh, former rains. Praise God. I told a story about uh, the uh, Presbyterian Church uh, back in 1820 in Cambridge, Kentucky. They had a camp meeting and they acted like Pentecost. They said that they were falling out under the power and they were falling on the floor and they were jerking and they were making howling noises. Yeah, that's crazy people. But I want to tell you, Holy Ghost filled people may sound crazy to the world, but praise God to God, they're just something He loves. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And they were falling out core like cord wood. And they were falling on the ground, slobbering and rolling all over the floor. I, I don't know if you've never been in an old time Pentecostal service where people have been slain out of the power and people were jumping the pews and running the aisles uh, and just having a great old time. You've really missed something. Hallelujah. Yes, there'll be people who come in and say, man, these people are crazy. But I want to tell you, I'm crazy for Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I believe this is the day of the latter rain. And I, and I am willing to turn loose and let God reign upon me no matter what others say or think. I want to be soaked in the power of the Spirit, not dry in ritual and routines. God, pour your Spirit upon me today. Hallelujah. Even Pentecostal churches are getting dry and routine, but they need the fire again of the Holy Ghost in their life. They need to be revived. Hallelujah. And I want to tell you, I'm feeling the power of God tonight. I want to tell you, I believe God wants to do something in our churches today. Yes. Hallelujah. I want to be soaked in the power of the Spirit. Not dry in ritual routines. God, pour your Spirit upon me. Hallelujah. God will pour out His Spirit upon us. For He is Jehovah Jireh, our provider. He has promised to provide our needs. Philippians 4 and 19 says, But my God shall supply all your need according to His riches and glory by Christ Jesus. And in the desires of our heart, He will give us. Psalms 37 and 4 says, Delight thyself also in the Lord. He shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Hallelujah. Well, I'll tell you my desire tonight is to have more of God's Spirit in our midst. More of the power of God. Hallelujah. Jesus is what our soul longs for. He is the answer to our thirst. Jesus is the I am, our burden bearer. Our bridge over troubled waters. Remember that song back in the 70s? Bridge over troubled waters. Well truly, Jesus Christ is our bridge over troubled waters. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. Glory to God. He's the one that's going to help us over everything. We may think things are hopeless right 
right now. We may think things are bad right now, but praise God, this could be the greatest time ever in our lives. Uh, we just got to let the Holy Ghost pour itself into yes. us. Yes. Hallelujah. We need a revival of personal relationship with Jesus. Amen. Amen. Not a religious experience. Amen. We need the real first question. Yes. John 7, 37 39, 39, our text. And in the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. He that believeth on me, as the Scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Amen. But this spake he of the Spirit, which they that believe on him should receive. For the Holy Ghost was not yet given, because Jesus was not yet glorified. What is the essence? Jesus was saying, I am the living water. Amen. Why do you keep going through the rituals of yesterday that leave you empty? Come to me and come to me, the living water, and be satisfied. Amen. You see, uh, in the temple, they would go every time and do the same ritual over and over and over and over again. And, and you know, when you do the same thing over and over again, it becomes just a, no, well, well, we're just doing it again. But I want to tell you, I want to be in services where God is moving us. And where He's moving, He'll move in the way that He wants to move. Amen. He might move one way one time. People might be shouting and hollering, running the aisle, jumping the pews, jumping the pulpit, or whatever. But I want to tell you, and in another time, they may be crying and moving and cry, crying out to God. But I want to tell you, I want the Holy Ghost to have its way in our services uh, in the way that I grew up in Pentecost. Uh, I want to see that come back again. Uh, I want God to have his way. Hallelujah. Now the water of religion will leave you dry. True. But I will fill you to overflowing. I will flow to you and through you. Secondly, we need to let the river flow out of it. Let it flow in us. Hallelujah. Let it just fill us up to the brim. Amen. That's why we call the Holy Spirit, the, we call it the fullness of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Praise God. When you, when you fill it up, it'll, you know, just like uh, if you jumped in the, uh, walked into the river and you keep walking and you keep walking after a while, it's going to get over your head. Well, praise God, that river that's flowing uh, out there is going to flow into you and just fill you up to the place uh, to where that you've got to let it out. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Acts 2, 1 through 4. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly... There came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire, and it sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Suddenly, in the upper room, in Jerusalem, the fullness of God's blessing came. Suddenly, there were tongues of fire and the sound from heaven and the Holy Spirit came down and filled each thirsty soul. Now, I don't recall how many days that they were praying, but they were praying and seeking God for the fullness. He said, go to Jerusalem to a certain place and start seeking me and start praying now. You know, when I, when, I, when I was a boy, they told us we need, you need to seek for the Holy Ghost. Yep. Now, I don't know if anybody else was told that, but when I was in church and when I was a boy, they told us we, we had to seek for the Holy Ghost. Sometimes it didn't come right when you wanted it to. But when your heart was in the right place at the right time, the Holy Ghost would come into you and fill you up. Hallelujah. Yeah. I remember when I, when I, when I, when I got it. Praise God, I got it. And it filled me up. And all of a sudden, I started speaking in tongues. Uh, and I couldn't quit. Praise God, it would just keep flowing out of me. 
and I was rolling all over the floor. I was a holy roller, a real one. Praise God, I enjoyed it. I tell you why, I didn't do it because I wanted to do it. I did it because I enjoyed doing it. Praise God. Suddenly there was a river flowing. Within each of the 120 gathered there, that was so great that it couldn't be contained. It was to flow out. This is the same river that flowed into your life. When you were filled with the Holy Spirit and the same river that flowed into anyone who receives the Holy Spirit today. Now here is where the problem is. If the enemy can't stop you from being filled with that, this river, then he will do whatever he can to keep you from letting it out. Amen. He will say, man, don't let it out. Man, you might you look like a fool. Don't let, don't let the Holy Ghost flow out of you. You don't want to look, you don't want to look silly. I remember one time when I was uh, sitting in church and uh, I, I was uh, I was going to a different organization for a short time while I, while I was waiting to do what God wanted me to do. And one night, the, and I had been in that church too long. And one night the Lord said, I want you to get up and run. I said, oh no, Lord, don't make me do that. I don't want to do that. I look like a silly fool. But the Lord said, keep, get up, start running. And so finally I got up. And again I ran. And all of a sudden the Holy Ghost started moving in the church. You know, sometimes it only takes one person uh, to do what God tells them to do. Uh, and God will just richly bless them. Uh, and praise God, the whole church uh, will break forth in, in blessings. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. He will send anything. He will. The devil will send anything, anybody, any problem, or any bad report to stop the flow. True. It is time to allow the Holy Spirit to spring forth from within you. Yeah. Washing away the worries, bitterness, doubt, fears, and whatever else, ha else has clogged the flow. It is time for you to burst forth with a new song of praise. Remember a river went out of the garden. And it is time for the river of the Spirit to flow from within. Remember what it said over here? He that believeth on me, as the Scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. That wasn't talking about real water. That was talking about spiritual water. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Remember a river went out of the garden. And it is time for the river of the Spirit to flow from within. The four heads of the river in the garden tell us the characteristics of the river. Hison means overflowing abundant. Or from within an abundant river flow. Abundant river flows from within. Amen. Today, if you will let it out, this river will abundantly overflow within you. Amen. Then Gihon means the burst forth or breaking out. Let the river break every hindrance so that the liberty of the Spirit can make you free. We want the Holy Spirit to break any hindrance that's going to try to keep us from enjoying the presence of God. Amen. You know, I think the, the problem today is so much uh, is that people uh, 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 hear people talking about uh, true Pentecost and all that as being a bunch of crazy people. And they, and they get fearful about letting the Holy Ghost use them. But I want to tell you, they said that about us back when I was a boy. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And it's, they, they've been saying it for years. The mm -hmm. true Pentecostal people were crazy. Yeah. And they acted like fools. But I want to tell you, I'd rather be a fool for Christ Amen. than a hypocrite for anything else. Amen. Praise God. I want the Holy Spirit to flow out of me. I want the Holy Spirit to lead me and to guide me and to let me. Oh, praise God. The Holy Spirit is here tonight yes. and trying to do something. Amen. 
Harikel means swift like an arrow. The Holy Spirit will do swiftly in an instant those things you could, could never accomplish under your own power. Hallelujah. Swift like an arrow. It'll do things and it'll get to the point. Hallelujah. I've seen the Holy Spirit move in services and directly pinpoint the problem that was in that service. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. I'm hungry for our move of the Spirit like it was when I first started. Yes. Amen. And I don't know what, what the cause if I if I go to the problem, I ask God to help me to be what He wants me to be. Yeah. But I want more of God's Holy Spirit. Yeah. I, I want yeah. more of that flow from within. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, you praise means a great river. It is a river with sweet water, no longer cursing and blessing from the same fountain. But a clean heart flowing with sweet words of praise. A great river brings a great life. Let it out. Amen. A great river brings a great life. Let it out. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's all stand. I didn't have a real long message tonight, but I hope the few words that I said tonight has been a blessing to you and something that lifts you up. Let's just raise our hands and praise the Lord. Lord Jesus, we just praise your holy name. Lord Jesus, just let the Holy Spirit use you tonight. Just let the Holy Spirit bless you tonight. Oh, Lord Jesus, we glorify your holy precious name. We glorify you, Lord God, because you're in our presence tonight. Oh, oh, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. Glory to God. Just let the Holy Spirit flow from within you tonight. Just let the Holy Spirit move and touch your heart and lift you up and just glorify the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Let the river flow out. Let it flow out. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Of my soul.
Have your sweet way, Lord. Have your sweet way, Lord. Have your sweet way, Lord. Have your sweet way, Lord, Lord tonight. Oh, glory to God. 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 Glory to
Yeah. Okay. Just take that thing off.